Hello everyone, I hope everyone is well. Let's take a look at these cards today for some inspiration. The first card here is about surrendering to effortlessness. You might be feeling like you're pushing too hard. The art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river. There might be a situation in your life where you feel like you are trying to force a river instead of going with the flow. Maybe going with the flow is what is needed, but you'll have to assess that and see what it is in your situation, what this relates to. If anything at all, it might be that there's a feeling that you just are needing to take a break or you're needing to have a conversation with someone. So whatever this is, whatever you associate this card to, perhaps there's a creative prompt here or a thought that comes to mind where you can take some positive action. Surrender to non-action. Now is the time to be still and not act. Perhaps this is true for you. Perhaps you are feeling and you know that it's actually best if you don't do anything at all and you have to surrender to non-action. Perhaps simply breathing and just focusing on your own power is the best thing to do. And allow others to come to you rather than going to them or chasing anything. Surrender to passion. You might be feeling like you're all up in your head all the time rather than feeling the fire in your belly. So this could be a good prompt for you if you associate this with a feeling or a situation in your life to get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly instead and focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and then go with it, let it flow. Surrender your desire to control people. Being over controlling can sabotage relationships to more effectively achieve your goals Back off, regroup, and give the situation some breathing room. Do you feel that this might be the best option in a certain uh, situation in your life? Are you, in fact, being over-controlling? Or are you as associating this to someone in your life, perhaps? And if so, what can you do? Is there anything you can do to, to help overcome this situation, this over-controlling behavior? The beautiful honeybee. Let compassion and forgiveness be your top priority in this situation. How does this resonate for you? What situation is this about for you? Is there something going on right now emotionally where forgiveness could actually release you, release you from some burdens that you're carrying, especially emotionally? Or compassion, actually having compassion for someone who is causing problems in your life perhaps? Or whatever this may be associated to. Express yourself through rhythm and movement by drumming and dancing. So perhaps this is a creative prompt for you to be more musical or creative or artistic. Uh, dance. Maybe it's uh, speaking to you in terms of the rhythm of your life. Are you feeling in sync with your the rhythm of your life or are you feeling out of the flow and so reflection on these two things might be useful uh, because you know if you decide if you can sense that you're out of the flow why is this and is there anything that you can do to change this situation use both your intuition and your intellect to solve the problem or get answers to your question so using your heart and your and your mind, your heart and your head in a certain situation might be the way to go. And the platypus, stop complaining and focus your attention on the blessings in your life. Well, there are many blessings in your life at the moment. And you might be uh, not noticing them. Do you think that you need to notice them a little bit more? Do you need to have a higher expectation of a miracle happening? Or are you hitting the jackpot in your life to have that positive outlook in your life? What needs to happen here? Maybe it is stopping complaining and to refocus, recalibrate your 
um, your mind, your thoughts, your emotions, or maybe it's an external thing and you need to focus on a relationship and getting that in balance or even withdrawing yourself from a certain situation. So then you can allow these blessings to flow into your life. A renewal of energy, a renewal, a new things, new things happening in your life. That's a really beautiful image here. We have two people here. They could be sisters, they could be friends. What does this connect with you in your life? Spend as much time with your loved ones as possible. Yes, definitely loved one, someone you love. It's time you'll never regret. Uh, it's time you'll never regret, and time you'll never get back. And so, spending time with someone that you love. Is there a thought on this? Is it something that you are doing or planning to do? What is that about for you? Does that resonate in any kind of way? And if so, why is that resonating for you? She's holding on to her heart in this image. The best way to fill your life with love is to open your heart and give love. So perhaps there is a, an answer here for you if you're wanting to give, uh, receive love or receive something. Maybe it's about uh, being of service or giving as well. So there's um, reciprocation. Beautiful sunflowers, brightness, happiness, blessings. Our lives have seasons, and one day you will look back on this time and realize it happened in order for you to grow. And that is so true in a lot of situations that we go through in life, isn't it? When, especially when we go through really difficult times, they seem to be the times where we grow the most, where we have the most internal growth, emotional growth, and we mature. Look at this beautiful image with her holding the beautiful bird or the dove. You may get knocked down in life and getting up is a choice, but always get up. Yes, and it can be really hard to do if you are feeling really low. It's difficult, you know, and it might be a prolonged thing or it might be something that is more short lived, but... Uh, you know, something that might just um, happen um, and it's something that is, you know, someone said something to you that really affected you or, you know, uh, an interaction that wasn't really, uh, you know, that's not long lasting, but it kind of uh, got you down in some way, knocked you down in some way. Always get back up. Always get back up, though. Even if it's just something that, some little thing that you can do um, to start to feel better or to start to uh, move forward in a positive way. You don't have to take massive big steps forward. Um, just little, little steps will do or even just one thing a day. Having faith. Having faith. Having faith in God. Surrendering to his divine will, ultimately. Oh, I love this image. Looks like a little girl. So we have purity and innocence. We have this uh, beautiful bird overhead as well. What does faith mean for you? What is this um, conjuring up? What is the association for you? What could this be meaning? Abundance. I love how she's covered in petals and nature and flowers. Of course, flowers represent abundance and beauty. Butterflies, change, moving into abundance. Through change, perhaps. Are you looking forward to abundance in your life? Are you actively working towards this in your life in some, in some way? What does abundance mean for you at the moment? Is there a creative prompt here for you, an inspirational idea or thought that's come to mind, how to bring abundance through into your life? Expression. Are you expressing yourself, your feelings, 
your words, in your work, expression, artistically, creatively. What is that? What is going on here? What is the association for you? Sanctuary. Creating your own sanctuary somewhere that you feel safe. Somewhere that you want to be. Somewhere you can go and heal. A beautiful, safe space. The magic zone. You know when you're in the zone and you're just feeling in the zone and you've got the right vibe, the right attitude, things are going so well, you're just in the zone, the magic zone, yeah. Is there something that you can do to get yourself into that? Is it like, um, it could be listening to music or it might be um, taking some kind of action? Um, do you need to shift your perception or your mindset? What is it that will get you into this magic zone? Where you are is where it's at. Stay until you are moved. Stay until you're feeling like you want to make a move. And there is comfort in knowing that there could be something really great in what you are doing at the moment. And where you are at is where you are meant to be. Perhaps you are recognizing that and you're seeing the blessings in your situation where you are at at the moment. Or perhaps you are needing to look for the silver lining. The quest. Boldly, boldly into life. Plunge boldly into life with passion, with vigor. Do you need more of that fire, that fire in your belly, more of that passion mentally and emotionally? Or are you surrounded by this feeling at the moment? Where do you lie in terms of what you are doing day to day? And is there a creative prompt or something coming up from your subcon subconscious around this? How much good can you handle? Explore the upward spiral of grace. So the upward spiral. So instead of a downward spiral, a focus on moving onward and upward. And this could be the spiral here. I love this. And we've got the beautiful colors here. Make the grade with flying colors. So we have this beautiful color at the center of this whirlwind. Remember you signed up for this. Well, signing up for, did you sign up for something? Is, does that, um, do you associate that with something in your life where you are signing up for something? And then, you know, you can, it could be a job, for example, and perhaps things are a little bit chaotic, a bit like a whirlwind at the moment. But you signed up for it and there is something that you wanted to get out of it. Okay, so what have we got here? Divine drunkenness. So surrendering, surrendering to what it is that you're feeling, what it is that you are doing, just surrendering to what is. That's what I'm associating this with. Is there another inspiration or another thing that you're thinking of when you see those words or see the image? Well, it's been wonderful to go on this journey with you today. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.